Hi guys, today we're transforming and styling my hutch. I'm using this amazing all-in-one decor paint by Country Chic. I can't say enough about this paint. The coverage is amazing and I love that it's odorless. I'll link it in the description box below. Now guys, this hutch used to be white and we used it in my daughter's room for clothes and storage, but I wanted to bring it out and then transform it and style it to add charm and a pop of color and richness to my foyer slash family room. These wooden knobs I purchased from Walmart and I'm just going to use some antiquing wax to give them a richer wood tone. Okay guys, so this is how the hutch is looking. Looks pretty good. That area right there for some reason is, has a, looks like a glare on camera, but in real life it looks really, really good. So now it's time for us to style it. And I just wanna show you some of the things that I got. I already have my lamp here, but I wanna show you um, some of the things, the knobs that we're gonna add, so let me show you that. Okay guys, so here are my knobs. It, I had a little mishap, so you guys ignore my finger, but here are the knobs, and I just painted them to look as rustic as they can be. And you guys, I'm just gonna walk you over here and just show you that this is the piece that is here in the foyer with this piece. And I want these two pieces to complement one another. And the way to do that is in my decorating, I'm going to add um, some pieces to bring out the wood tone colors. But I also did it with these knobs and tried to match them as closely as possible with this piece so that um, the two pieces can complement each other. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these knobs on and then we are going to style this hutch and I'm so excited it turned out really pretty. So let's put these knobs on and style the hutch. Okay guys, it's actually the next day but I'm just adding these knobs before I style the hutch. And here's the hutch with the knobs guys. I think this turned out nicely and I'm already seeing the hutch and my antique wardrobe coming together. Okay guys, before I style the um, hutch, I wanna show you some of the items that I picked up for the hutch. Um, I have this um, cute um, little rustic looking antique clock here and I actually picked this up from Walmart. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this clock was around, it was under $20. So I have that clock there that I want to um, I have this little llama with some greenery in it and this piece is a piece that I've been that I've had so I'm shopping my house and I'm pretty sure I picked this up from um, I think I picked this up from Hobby Lobby I don't remember how much I paid for it because like I said I've had it for a while so I have that piece as well as well as this I love the little stone um, concrete looking pot that it's in um, this one I picked up from um, I actually this came from Home Goods, but I think I thrifted this for $7.99. So, um, or either I got it from Home Goods for $7.99. I think I got it on sale at Home Goods for $7.99. So I got that. Then I got this really cute um, little uh oh wooden pedestal here, and I got this from Michaels, and I paid. Um, $14.99, but the, I got it when they were having a sale, and I think it was half off, so I think like $7 for that. Um, and I also picked these up from Michaels as well, and um, I'll insert, I actually looked these up on Etsy, and I'll insert a clip to show you what they're going for on Etsy, but I actually paid um, 11 let, wait, let me look, let me see. This one was $12.99 and it was on sale for half off. And then this one was $12.99 and it was on sale for half off. So I bought those as well. Again, we're just trying to add some wood tones to the hutch to make it marry with the piece that's sitting next to it. And then I also found this really cute little um, pottery vessel and I got that from 
Michaels as well. Um, I, I, I love um, the handles on it and the ribbed detail on it. And this was, let me see how much, I think this was $14.99 originally with 50% um, with, um, off. So got that as well. And then another thing that I found at Michael's was this pretty rustic frame and it's without the glass, which is fine for me. It was marked down to $4.99 probably because the glass is not in it, but that's okay. It works for me because to go in that, let me sit this right here, to go in it off of Etsy, I just went and I downloaded a print um, that I wanna put in it and it is just the print of a meadow and I just thought that was really pretty, just some wildflowers and meadow and so I'm gonna be putting that in there um, inside that frame to put on the hutch as well. And then, of course, moving on over here, I picked up this little faux olive tree. Um, again, um, from Michaels, it was $19.99 and it was on sale that day for 50% off. So that was a good deal. I also, from Michaels, found this um, little um, ceramic pottery piece. I love how that looks like Mother of Pearl. And this was actually $12.99. Again, it was on sale for half off. This I picked up from Target, and you guys, there, you can, these little plants at Target are amazing. It's called a mini plant, and I paid $4.99 for this. I love the ceramic vase that it's in, and so I love that. And then another thing that I picked up at Michael's that day, usually Michael's is up to me a little overpriced, but with the sale, it was beautiful. So I picked up this beautiful tray with these faux beaded edging, these beautiful legs, and I picked it up and it was um, originally $29.99, but again, it was the spring collection was half off that day. So I also picked that up. Some other items that I have are, I already had this, um, little potted plant here or already had that um, this vase I also picked up from Walmart and then I think I got these little mini hydrangeas from um, Michaels as well I don't remember how much they were um, but this I picked up from Walmart and I don't remember the price of it but it's still at Walmart too and under $20 I'm sure and then a couple of other things that I have I already have this antique clock that I picked up from one of my patients families years ago it was um, antique clock in their family and um, as they were transitioning their family member um, they gave it to me and I really appreciate that and then I also had this vase here with this tall greener because I may sit that on top of it um, so anyway those are the things that I have to style it if I need anything else I'll just shop my home and so now with that now we can go and style I'll let you enjoy watching me style the hutch. I'm bringing in those wood tones to marry my two pieces so that they flow and complement one another. And I'm also adding some cream and white colors to add to the warmth of those wood tones while bringing in some light to the dark hutch. And I'll be finishing it off with pops of greenery to ground it all and make all of the colors and textures come together.
here's the final reveal. See how the warm wood tones along with the whites and creams and pops of greenery make this piece settle into the already existing pieces. And here you see the two pieces complement one another instead of competing for attention. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're inspired to do some hutch styling or some bookcase styling of your own. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you are a faithful subscriber, welcome home. You guys, don't forget, enjoy all the little things in life. It's the little things that give us the sweetest, prettiest little pleasures. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.